Hi everybody, and welcome to getting started with InstructBot tutorial video series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to configure InstructBot for Twitch. Please click the Options button and then navigate to Twitch in the tree. On Connecting and On Application Changed, control when, if at all, InstructBot will update the category you're within on Twitch. If On Connecting is enabled, your Twitch category will be updated when InstructBot connects. If On Application Changed is enabled, your Twitch category will be updated when InstructBot detects the active application has changed. For example, when you switch between configured games, the category set on Twitch will match the application name. For example, in the application shown, the category would be 7 Days to Die. InstructBot can use cheers from Twitch, Stream Elements, or Stream Labs to trigger commands. If you have multiple sources of cheers enabled, then multiple triggers will be created from the same cheer. For example, one for each enabled source. For example, the Alt F4 command has a 1000 bit trigger. If cheer triggers enabled for both Twitch and Stream Elements, when someone cheered 1000 bits, the Alt F4 command would be executed twice, once for Twitch and once for Stream Elements. So it is recommended that you only enable one cheer source. To use Twitch channel points to trigger commands, enable Use Rewards. When a viewer then redeems a reward on Twitch, any point trigger of matching value will cause the linked command to execute. For example, the Reload command has a 100 point trigger. When a channel point redemption costing 100 is used by a viewer, this command will then be executed. This wraps up how to configure Twitch. If you'd like to learn more, please look at our other tutorial videos in this series, visit our website, or join our Discord. Links for both the Discord and website are in the description below.